Hey y'all, so it's uh, been a while since I've done a uh, video update. Um, believe it or not, it's uh, Thursday, uh, April 16th. They're calling for uh, six to eight inches of snow here in my area in Illinois. So I've got to take the darn tailgate back off, clean out the bed of the truck, put the salt spreader back in and uh, get ready for snow. I got to put the rear plow on, the front plow is already on. But uh, I struggle every time taking this tailgate off and I wanna show y'all a video on how it's done. So the first thing you have to do, obviously remove your retainer straps. Um, those are both in here. And that's gonna be utilizing a one half inch um, socket. So take those out. I'm gonna get under the bed and I will show you the bedside. times but uh first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this little red clip out which i can do with my finger some folks may have to use a flathead screwdriver and put across there and then right here behind this white bar there's a little button you're gonna push that down in deep and you're gonna fold this back once you fold that back all the way it unlocks the harness so that is the <sighs> darn it man stuff right in the eye never fails um so then i uh i leave this kind of hang and then i pull through the uh pull up here slowly as i remove the tailgate but just make sure this isn't sitting like that where it's you know crammed into the tire it's gonna pull in so um, I usually just set it up on top of the top, on top of the tire or something. If I don't end up with an ER visit trying to make one of these YouTube videos, it's going to be a good day. Uh, something in my eye. So I'll uh, get the tailgate pulled off. But yeah, so to uh, reverse the order, it would be um, to put it back on. You just plug it back in, flip that white cross lever back over, and uh, then pop your red tab back into place. Um, all right, so you can uh, see the tailgate's down, the straps are off. This tailgate does weigh a ton. It's not a good idea to do this one person with one person, but uh, um, I don't really have a choice right now. I gotta get ready for the snow. So just like most tailgates, take it up to uh, about a 45 degree angle. You're gonna pop the, uh, pop the passenger side first. Let it sit on the uh, tailgate on the bumper. And then you have to bring it up almost closed that's important because otherwise you're going to really pull and it's not going to come off so bring it up almost closed come slightly up on the passenger side and this is why two people is nice there you go so that's off there and then i lay it back down fish my harness through and the tailgate is off so reinstalling it's just the opposite so to put the tailgate back on you almost have to have two people I've done it a couple times by myself and it sucks put the tailgate back on the first side, driver side, it almost has to be standing straight up like it's closed. And then you have to line the holes up with this uh, angle piece. And the reason is, is it, it's, it's almost straight up and down. So um, it almost has to be perfectly up and down. So slide that in, then drop it back to a 45 degree, put your passenger side in, then you're good to go. Um, obviously feed your harness in first. This does look like it has some corrosion on it. Um, I'll probably hit it with some lithium grease or something. Um, so that is how to remove the tailgate on a 2020 Chevy Silverado. Thanks for watching.